China is now the third nation after the U.S. and Russia to land a spacecraft on the moon. The Jade Rabbit rover made its first move on the surface today. It's been 35 years since that's happened. Here's Don Daler. When the Chang'e 3 spacecraft settled onto the lunar dust on Saturday, it was as much a source of national pride for the Chinese as it was scientific research. State TV carried live images as well as computer-generated animation of the feat. China succeeded on its very first try, which was not the case when the U.S. and Soviets first tried. Both had multiple failures before they finally succeeded. Uh, CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. But of course, they had the benefit of decades of watching their competitors do it first. And so I think that's without a doubt a huge help. Uh, but at the end of the day, they still had to pull it off, and they did. And it's an impressive feat. The Chinese then deployed a lunar rover named Jade Rabbit. The moment it rolled onto the moon's surface, scientists broke out in applause. Jade Rabbit's three-month-long mission consists of snapping pictures, analyzing rock samples, and mapping the lunar surface with radar. No other nation has visited the moon since 1976, begging the question, is there anything left to learn there? One of the big topics right now is what resources are available on the moon. Can you perhaps mine it someday and bring things back to Earth that would be of some value? And then you've always got the moon as a staging post, a place where humans can go, a relatively nearby stepping stone before going off into deep space to targets like Mars. The rover is being remotely controlled with help from a network of tracking stations around the world operated by the European Space Agency. This is the culmination of decades of Chinese ambition to land on the moon. Jeff, in addition to the rover's research, the lunar lander is equi equipped with an ultraviolet telescope to study other celestial objects. Don Daler, thank you very much.